and welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the Bulge tool to animate fabric and clothing. It's really good for making things like blow in the wind. I'm gonna show you how we do that today. And before we get started, I need to let you know that this video was sponsored by Squarespace. Okay, so the example I'm showing you guys today is from an NFT collection I released with Mango Street last year. We had this animation of a guy in a purple suit holding a purple cape, and I used the bulge tool to make the cape look like it's blowing in the wind. So that is the example we will be learning from today. So here I have everything open. We are in After Effects and this is the animation uh, that I made of the dude in the purple. So as we watch that back you can see that his cape is very still right now um, but it would be way cooler if it was blowing in the wind. So I'm gonna hang on to this frame here and we're gonna go up to Effects and Presets type in Bulge. It's under distort, you just drag that mother hugger right onto the clip that you wanna animate, which for me is this one here, cape. I'm gonna isolate the man in the cape layer so we can really focus on what's happening here. So I'll take this shot of the guy holding the cape, and if I click on the bulge tool uh, on the cape layer, you can see that I get a little circle that's right here in the middle, this little white circle. So if in the controls panel, I change that horizontal radius to be really big, same with the vertical radius, so we're just cranking those numbers up, and we click on bulge center, we can move the bulge anywhere we want. And so you can see where I'm going with this. When you just drag around this big bulge tool, it gives you this nice ripple effect. And so if you animate it going across the blanket like this, it's gonna make it look like your blanket is blowing in the wind. So I will actually maybe make the vertical radius and the horizontal radius just a little bit smaller. Um, and I will have it start up top. And if we come to the control panel here, let's create a keyframe for bulge center. And we can hit U to drop down our keyframes. So I hit U to drop down the keyframes on the cape layer. And maybe over a few seconds, we grab the bulge tool. And we have it come down the blanket like so. So let's see what it looks like between those two keyframes. Actually, that looks really good. The only problem is it just it happens a little too fast. Or maybe it happens too soon, because maybe the camera whipping into that position and then the bulge, ooh, that looks really nice. Okay, so this is already a great example of showing you how the bulge tool can make it look like something is blowing in the wind. And so I will right click those and just easy ease them. Beautiful. I mean, Jesus, that does look so good. Okay, all right. And so now what we can do to kind of balance out this breeze, like if the breeze is blowing on the bottom of the cape here, it should maybe blow on the top, top of it as well. So what I'll do is I'll just take the bulge effect in the controls panel and control D, duplicate it. I'll get rid of the keyframes and I'll grab that same bulge and just move it up top. So I'll put it right here where the first keyframe starts. And again, we're gonna create a keyframe at bold center. Go over a few frames, a few seconds, and you'll just drag it like straight down through the cape like this. And let's see what that looks like. That's pretty good. I feel like maybe that one is actually a little too intense. I'll right click and easy ease these two keyframes and maybe just make them last a little longer. Nah, I don't like that. So maybe the second keyframe, I'll just make it go higher in space. Let's see. I like that. Ooh, look at those nice ripples. And so now if we unisolate these layers and we watch it back, it's gonna be very satisfying. Here we go. Wow, beautiful, right? And so that is how you animate clothing or cloth with the bulge tool. And yeah, it's kind of a niche use for the bulge tool, but it's one of those things where if you're animating photos or graphics, it just adds mwah, so much extra charisma. Like the last thing you'd expect from seeing a 2D picture is it blowing in the wind. And I feel like this perfectly recreates that. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, easy tutorial on how to just animate clothing. And if you have any questions about how to do this, just drop them in the comment section below. I'm accessible. And of course, it's time to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. 
From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you're a photographer. Well, Squarespace is a perfect place for you to host your work. They've got portfolios and galleries, which is a feature that lets you upload your work to beautifully, professionally designed templates. So you're displaying all of your photographs in a professional and organized manner. It'll make your work stand out. And these are like award-winning designer templates that you're putting your photos in. So it's all around a good professional use. Sorry, I'm making no sense. And then of course, we have Squarespace's analytics. If you're a dumb person like me, you'll really appreciate this feature. They've got graphs and charts and numbers of everything that happens with your website. People coming to it, who's looking at your shop, who's buying your product. So dummies unite, let's all sign up for Squarespace so they can tell us what our analytics are so we don't have to think too hard about it. And lastly, you can stay connected with Squarespace. If you have multiple social media accounts, you can just embed them into your Squarespace website. Like, let's say you have a fashion account on Instagram. You can embed that into your website so when people come and look at your page, they can also find your Instagram. If you're a rapper on SoundCloud, just embed the SoundCloud into your website. So when people come to your site, they can find your music. So Squarespace is perfect for cross promotion. Let everyone know where they can find you. And the best part is I got you hooked up with a discount code. So if you guys go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. You're welcome. So thanks for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. And of course, I have to remind everybody where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will, and have a nice day.